Me on my flight <laughs> because they said I don't look like my passport. <laughs> I don't look like this. <laughs> so I've gone viral for not looking like myself in my passport, and you know what? That is okay. Have I been humbled? Tremendously. Let's talk about it. In honor of catfishing the entire world and going viral, um, I figured why not do a get ready with me for how I got ready in my passport. I haven't done a tutorial in so long. This is also kind of similar to one of my go-to looks. I feel like I've gotten so many requests to kind of like show how I do my makeup lately. While I get ready, I'll tell you the story of how I almost was not uh, let back into the country because I looked nothing like myself. We're just gonna part the sea. The Red Sea. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I feel like I'm Mac Baby 11, my old beauty guru days. I'm gonna prep my skin. Laneige lip mask, Sicily primer, NARS eye primer, face is primed. For foundation, I'm using the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. This plus the Sicily primer, amazing. This is the Makeup by Mario Light Medium Soft Sculpt Shaping Stick. You really will not catch me not contouring my face. So if you haven't heard of the Passport Get Ready With Me trend, um, this started maybe like a year ago or so. I'm not sure exactly who started it. I'm pretty sure it was this girl, Georgia Barrett. It's gone viral, like everyone's been doing it and they look so good after doing the tutorial. My last passport was when I was like 16. I looked so bad. And you know, I was just excited to like have a glam moment. I never actually filmed a tutorial, but you're getting it now. <laughs> I learned myself from trial and error of what looks good and what doesn't look good on my nose. So I want my nose to look thinner and up more because when I smile I feel like it goes down and it gets wide here so I want to like thinner and go high like make it look like it goes higher so I want to put the shadow underneath but if you don't want that for your nose then don't follow my tutorial that's the frustrating thing when you see tutorials online like only follow the trends if you want that look on your face then I'm gonna switch over to this side of the brush which is just clean to make sure there's like no other powder on it and I'm gonna use this to just blend it out because the last thing you really want is it to look like you tried to contour your nose and there's just a line like that's actually the worst last step for cream is we're gonna do my brows this is the benefit precisely my brow pencil i go through these like no other i wish i was like a soap natural girly laminated but i'm not okay next we're actually gonna go in with cream blush and this is a tip that i learned from um one of the makeup artists i work with his name's eros um he does a ton of celebrities so after contour do cream blush put it on your cheeks or your nose, like wherever you actually want to put it. Then what he showed me that changed my life is now you go in with your concealer, so your concealer is on top of your blush and it gives you so much more of a natural glow because the concealer kind of like helps it just like blend perfectly into your skin. Now that the cream products are all on my face, now we got to set it. So basically we're gonna be going back in with everything and doing it again, but with powder instead. For powder, I've been using the Laura Mercier translucent one, but this is the ultra blur one. So we're just gonna go in and bake. Yes, I still bake, come at me. If you find something that works for your skin and your face and how you like it, like don't change it just cause it's not trendy anymore. I will say, I feel like now when it comes to setting, I kind of just like pat it everywhere versus just taking a shit ton and like swiping it like I did. Because again, oily skin, I'm like this shit needs to stay. S-T-A-Y, stay. Contour powder. I know it might seem tedious to be doing so many different layers, like why do cream and powder, but I swear it looks so much more natural and it lasts so much longer. Oh, back to me going um, viral for catfishing the entire world. Um, <laughs> last week I was actually coming back from Italy. Uh, I went for a friend's wedding. It was stunning. It was absolutely beautiful. Congrats, Haley. We had a little layover before we came back into the States. Also Pat McGrath blush. Now that like just, mm, mm, I love blush. So when I got my my own passport done, I got full glam, I like it looked great. I even vlogged me getting it done, right? So proof that it actually is me. While I'm going through security before boarding my flight, the guy stops and looks at my passport for a really long time. And I'm sitting there and I'm like, oh no, keep in mind when I travel, I look like an actual thumb. I don't look good. He starts looking at my passport like, 
looking at me, the passport back and forth. And I'm like, oh no, oh no, it's me. I promise. I promise it's me. I promise it's me. I'm aware I had brown hair there. I have red hair now and I have no makeup on and I actually look disgusting. And then he holds it up to my face and is like comparing. And then he's like, uh, do you have another form of identification? Then you can tell he doesn't know what to do. Cause he, go he literally says it verbatim and I quote, yeah, you look really different here. I've never been so humbled in my life. And at this point, I'm just like, I knew this was gonna happen. Why did I have such a bomb hot photo for my passport when in reality, anytime I use my passport, I'm not trying to get into a club. I don't travel full glam. I don't know what to do. I'm in a whole different country. I'm probably about to get detained. I'm like, what is happening? All my friends are gonna go back home and I'm gonna be stuck here because I don't look like me. So at this point I start sweating and I'm like, oh my God, I hope, like I like I knew I would be fine, but you know that little voice in your head that's like, mm -hmm, you might be stuck here. Um, and I knew my friends would like stay with me or whatever, but the whole thing, I was just like getting overwhelmed and a little anxious because as we know, I'm an anxious person. Finally, I don't know if it was God, the universe, whatever, this man let me go. He was like, just go. This palette is nasty. So I get on the plane, it was great. When I landed in um, LA, I remembered about my horrible situation. So I made a TikTok and that I think is almost at 11 million views now. The amount of articles who have picked it up and have called me like a woman traveling, cat fit. Like, like I knew it was funny and bad, but like seeing the, t the article titles, I'm like, then it gets even better because I have news publications who are like hitting me up being like, hey, can we feature your video? Can you answer some questions for us? Like da 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 da. And I'm like, whoa, 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 is this my moment? Like Alicia Marie's career, Schoolisha, burnout, catfish. Like that's my career. That's my whole career. But it made me feel better because I think half the reason it's going viral is a lot of the comments on the TikTok and on my Instagram about it are people being like, this happened to me or like this has happened with my ID. Someone even said, you should look hot for your ID photo because that's what you use to get into like clubs and stuff. Then it gets even better because uh, I think the day or so after I got back from my trip, I'm in a coffee shop, right? While I'm paying for my coffee, I hear a barista in the other like other room say, oh, Excuse me, like this might be kind of random and she's looking at me and she's coming towards me and she goes, I kid you not. Oh my God, I think I saw you on my TikTok for you page this morning about your passport and I literally start dying laughing. They were so sweet. Like honestly, I sat and talked to them for a while and it was just hilarious because I'm telling them the whole story but I was like, I just got recognized for being so ugly. Not because of Pretty Basic, not because of YouTube, not because of anything else I do on social media, like because of my viral, ugly ass passport situation. Like I was like, oh my God, this is hilarious. Like these humbling moments are so important in every influencer's career. And this is just another one of mine. Big shock, we all know which lashes I'm probably gonna be using. Ardell Accent 315s. These are my favorites because they look way more natural. You don't have to worry about the inside coming off, but also it's like, you know? <laughs> this is optional, but once it's fully dry, I like taking that same brown eyeshadow and just putting it at the base to cover any glue. I recently didn't do that a day when I filmed some TikToks and it was so obvious. I was so embarrassed. Rare Beauty Mascara. Love this stuff so much. That's all of the face. The only thing left to do are the lips. In my passport, I was wearing the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in Anywhere Caffeine and the KKW Nude 3, my tried and true. And that is the finished look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this story time and tutorial. Um, let me know if you want more makeup videos. I know I haven't done one like this in forever, um, but I hope that you enjoyed it. And please let me know if you've also had any horrible ID or passport situations where they didn't think it was you. Um, and yeah, love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.